Now cycling in Singapore is a very very big thing, okay? Singaporeans love their bikes. Everything that has to do with an upgrade, that has to do with a Pinarello, they love it. Now, I'm sure many of you, or if not some of you, may be planning to come to Singapore to ride a bike. Well, I just gotta tell you that Singapore's cycling community, although it's a bit sad because we have been bombarded by like road drivers, bombarded by like black sheep cyclists, you know, people who don't really abide by the rules, but overall the cycling community is still pretty strong, very big. I'm out of breath, but very nice. They are all essentially very nice people. And so we're gonna take a look at some of the some of these people's bikes today to see what kind of upgrades they have, what kind of bikes they ride, and all that little stuff. I have been dropped once again by all the people in front over there. So I'm too lazy to go and catch up. I'm too tired. So I'll go and catch them at the next point, which is if I'm not wrong, 4th Avenue. So they'll be going to Clare 4th Avenue, uh, Avenue, which has already been featured on my channel for a while now. Because uh, somehow this group likes to go there. It's an extremely painful climb. You're gonna be a sadist to love it. But it's quite fun. Lah. So if you have not tried 4th Avenue, go ahead and give it a try. Give it a shot at 4th Avenue. It's actually quite fun. And uh, maybe I'll show it to you guys again this time around. Oh, like Taiwan like festival right there. Now introducing to you the very first bike that I actually saw and I was like interested in s -Lux because of it was the Specialized SL8. Now she is riding a very very nice white pearl Specialized SL8 with Rover wheels. Uh, a very standard setup for people with Specialized going with the entire Specialized range of Rover wheels and uh, s -Lux frame. Now she was also running a SRAM group set, although I'm not too sure which exact SRAM group set, but it's still a very nice group set to use. Now as you can see, there are actually a lot of people and the group is very big, so we just got to make sure that we don't go into the path of those people coming down, otherwise it's going to be a very big mess. On your right, huh? Now going down the hill, I started to exercise a bit more precaution because there were a lot of people coming back up again. Come back. Now venturing into the climb of Rifle Ridge Road, you can see a lot of Konalgo, Specialized, S-Works all just passing by. But what I wanted to show was this person, which is my friend, his Kenyan Arrow in blue. Now the Kenyan Arrow is one of the bikes that I wanted to get. A really nice bike with Renault wheels. Uh, very standard bike especially in Singapore, many people has the air route.
On to the next bike, this is the little things. He has a Mahjong Tao bar tape. We'll talk about his bike more later on. But first, let's talk about this giant propel, which I don't really like because of the stem and the extremely inclined angle. But it is overall a very nice bike and it is extremely heavy. But the new propel kind of have went on a diet, so it's a lot nicer now. He's also running a SRAM group set. Now going back to that Mahjong Tao bar tape, the owner of that bike rides the Terengganu Polygon jersey which is that Malaysian team and it's very funny because he is also running a Polygon bike. Now his bike is a very nice blue Polygon running tough wheels with the extremely cute Mahjong Tao bar tape. A very nice blue matching with the shoes as well. Now we decided to make a turn into NUS, it's a very nice climbing spot, I really like it but it's extremely painful but it's very quiet on the weekends. Wow, new bike day leh. Oh, yeah. New bike day leh. How is it? Uh, the pick up a bit slow, but the comfort level is very high. Oh. Yeah. I also want to play with BMC. It's not too bad. South Bona Vista Road, also known as 99 Bands, a very popular place for cyclists to come down and to either climb up or descend because it's a very long and nice descent. Now as you can see from the guy wearing that blue and white TKO PNS jersey, not only do Singaporeans actually care a lot about how their bike looks, they also care about how they wear. It's essentially a fashion show on the entire like cycling world in Singapore. Now just at our pit stop alone, you can see a wide range of bikes from Giant to Factor, especially the extremely nice 60 black ink wheels. Now you also see a lot of Dogmas, which is a very popular choice for Singaporeans. But I really like this Cannondale.
Now everything must be bling. Just walking through Maxwell Food Center, you can see the countless arrays of extremely nice colored bikes, S Works, Specialized, Dogmas, all with like all decked out with all the latest equipment such as Rover wheels, Dura Ace, power meters, and everything. Especially this Canyon. I really like this Canyon. It was one of the arrows that I wanted to buy. Hey Canyon. But wait, remember how I said that Singapore cycling scene was a fashion show? Not only that guy has a blue TKO shirt, this guy has a Gucci inspired shoe. Beat that. As you can see, just a simple turnaround of like Maxwell Food Center on a Saturday morning. You can see that there are so many, so many road bikes. And there are a lot of different nice colorways, a lot of different upgrades. Would be kind of sad if somebody just knocked something down. But essentially, what it's trying to prove is that Singapore cycling is very big.